finally making the video. This is long overdue. We're gonna talk about Kelly Oubre today because in addition to just his weird play the entire season, he's been in trade talks for about the last couple weeks. So I wanted to talk about both his play this season, I wanted to talk about some of the trade rumors, some of the trade possibilities, but we're also going to be talking about some of the positives, and that will lead us to making a decision on if Golden State should trade Kelly Oubre Jr. So let's get into the video. All right, so real quick before we begin, uh, if you're new here, I made a Kobe Bryant documentary. It is about an hour long, so if that's something that you're interested in, then feel free to go watch that after you've watched this video all the way through. But also, only a small percentage of you guys that watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Okay. So, yeah, let's talk about Kelly Oubre, because over the first 20 games of the season, which is about a month and a half, um, we've been able to see two completely different players, not just between Phoenix and now, but I'm talking about just on both sides of the court because he's an amazing defender, but he's terrible on offense. And I think part of that is just maybe it could be the new fit, but I'm not sure because he's getting all these wide open looks that he has been making for his entire career. And they're just not going down this season for a couple reasons. One, we didn't actually know this at the start of the season. We only found out about it a few weeks ago, but apparently it involves Kelly Oubre's personal life. Apparently he has something going on with um, old relationship and I'm not really gonna get into that too much I'm just gonna show some headlines here because it is absolutely insane and uh, yeah that's something that you guys can like go read on your own because that is like unbelievable what's happening right now but other than that there's nothing really too drastic going on in terms of Kelly Oubre I think that might have been the entire source of his struggles to start the season because like nothing else would make sense like this kind of drop off from one season to the next just doesn't make sense if it was like literally anything else so I understand but in terms of like what we're actually getting out of him um he's not as bad as he's been uh to start the season he still is making questionable decisions on offense from the bad passes to the bad takes to the bad shots to standing right next to Steph Curry off ball multiple times I just have no idea what he's doing but other than that, it's just not making the shots, which is his main problem right now. And you know how the NBA is. It's a what have you done for me lately type of league. And so as soon as Kelly Oubre started struggling, he was immediately put in trade rumors and trade discussions and all that. So I just want to clear something up. I do not want Kelly Oubre to be traded. I may be very, very critical of him this season, but I do not want him to be traded because I believe that the upside that he brings and the intangible concept of him, such as, you know, the defense and things like that, that you can only see when you're watching the games, that is more valuable to me than something that another player can provide. At least a player that's been involved in the trade discussions, because one of the trade rumors involved the New Orleans Pelicans, and they would have involved trading Kelly Oubre for Lonzo Ball. Now, I can understand where they're coming from with this because Lonzo Ball is a great playmaker and Kelly Oubre is not really. <laughs> but Lonzo Ball is also a decent defender, but he's not the defender that Kelly Oubre is and he's not as tall. So on one hand, you have Kelly Oubre who will be traded to a team that might fit him better. But on the other hand, you have Golden State losing out on a really good wing defender that they have right now. And so is that the trade-off that they're willing to make? And I don't think that is because we've seen from Steve Kerr. He recently did an interview on a radio show where he said, I think it's important for guys to accept it because in the modern life that we live, there's just going to be constant scrutiny and judgment and rumors and all kinds of stuff. But I did feel compelled to tell everybody exactly what happened which was somebody called us, there wasn't even an offer made, and all of a sudden it's on the internet. So that stuff is frustrating when it happens. So basically what he's saying there is that they never even had any plans to trade Kelly Oubre. <laughs> they just had a team call them about him, no offers were made, and all of a sudden the headlines on the internet is 
Kelly Oubre is gonna be traded. And so I can understand the frustration and, you know, where that's coming from. Because, I mean, let's face it, trade rumors can destroy teams because of the motivation that the players involved in these rumors may feel if they don't actually end up getting traded. Then you have a player that doesn't feel wanted in the in the market that he's in, then you have chemistry problems, then you have even bigger problems on top of that. And so it was important for him to have that discussion with him. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, but I thought I would just talk about that real quick. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, Kelly Oubre to me is more valuable than anything that Lonzo Ball can provide because while Lonzo Ball is a good playmaker, we don't necessarily really need that right now. And considering that Kelly Oubre is another big defender for them, I think that they might want to hold on to him for the future. Because think about it, if Klay Thompson is back, then their starting lineup could be Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, Draymond Green, and James Wiseman. Like that is a crazy starting lineup, but Kelly Oubre can still provide a lot of defense and scoring off the bench because we also have to remember that Kelly Oubre while he is sometimes aggressive at the wrong points he is a very aggressive player and what we've seen from him this season is that he is not going to lose confidence no matter what's happening because I can't remember who I heard say this but it was the first time that I really thought about it I think it might have been Kalena Azabuki where he said that even though Kelly Oubre had the horrible start to a season he was still one of the best defenders on the other end of the floor and that should be a really big thing to look at going forward because a lot of times what we see is that when a player is struggling on offense then they lose confidence in every aspect of their game their defense you know whatever it may be and so the fact that he's still putting up that amount of effort on the defensive end is really good for golden state right now and that's what's been keeping them in a lot of these games is his defense because they've been playing a lot against teams with really good perimeter threats like brooklyn milwaukee portland the lakers they had kelly Oubre guarding lebron at some points which was really good good for them because of his size and so I think that Kelly Oubre in the future can definitely be more valuable than a lot of people are able to see right now or giving him credit for but I think that's it for me I want to know what you guys think about Kelly Oubre this season do you think that he should be traded or do you think that the Warriors should hang on to him for all the reasons that I just gave let me know what you think but with all that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new hit the bell to be notified when I upload Comment down below what you want to see next, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.